don't have anything else to do. And two, um, it does rate well. So here, we can do it. Anybody want to go over anything quick? Target's not far away though. Target's 10 bucks. I mean, it could, could drop farther, but given the market here and everything we know and the way this is all playing out here. Wow, some big trades this week I called in the options letter. I mean, I hope you people took them all and are managing them all right. Let's check on little baby Facebook. The baby. So Facebook could back up today, given the market was profitable yesterday, still gonna be profitable this morning in the open. If you want the bigger move, you're gonna have to suffer through a day here probably, just letting you know. Letting you know. All right, good luck everyone. Let's see what we get. Quick one here today and out is my plan of action. Plenty of volume, let's see what spread. And here it goes. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I hope it doesn't go to 10 without us. It's crap, look here, this is going. You can't take it in the open, so. My Lantia. All right, we'll just wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I hope this still sets up. I don't know if this is going to set up right. I'm waiting. I'm not off of it. I'm just letting you know. by 75 38 by 75 is valid bigger stop than I thought but still the same target though here get in it right now it was hesitating there. Just take it. Don't worry about where you get filled. Get the stop it in 75. It could roll right on over. And we do have to watch 10. Be in it. Be in it. Be in it. There's really nothing else today. Just doesn't have a big target. Here it goes. I think there is a possibility. Although it, it might be small. But it could happen. Here. 970 is another situation. 970. $10.970. Here it is. You have to do it. Here, Senex. We do have to watch 10. Here, here it is. Wow. Ten fourteen. I'm not going to get out there. We just took it. So you got to watch this. Let's quickly look at the market. 970 is possible, but I want it to happen fast and quick. 933, market looks amazing. Market is going to make a brand new all-time high today in the SPY. It already is in the DIA, which is the index for the Dow. And I called it. I called it on national TV. 
I mean, how freaking awesome is that? I freaking said this on national TV, on Varney's show, on August 30th or 31st or 29th. I mean, does anyone care that I'm actually right all the time? No, no one cares. That's what really frustrates me the most. But I get up in the morning, I say, I know what I'm doing, and you just got to keep going, Melissa. You got to keep going. Someday someone will notice. Here, Senex! awesome call so gutsy to do all right here we are we're in sun x the stop is in there's nothing else uh then i will look at but i don't think i like that i'm just gonna shuffle around here and look at the things that some of you put no nothing here rpm nothing here what was the other one there was another one i looked at tpx is that even gapping no, this is nothing here. Okay, Facebook's backing up. So prepare yourselves. You kind of had to make a decision what you're doing with this like three days ago. You're either holding it in for the big trade or you get out positive any time from the previous week. Today you're going to suffer through this being up still, but not up as much as you were. So that's why you got to know where you're getting out of the trades before you take them. I warned everyone this morning about that. This is a warning. Here we go. This baby one, it's a baby. It's the only reason I didn't like it. But money is money and we're not going to complain. Uh, what did we do yesterday? I can't even remember. What did we do yesterday? I'm so tired. What did we do yesterday that went huge? <laughs> I don't even remember what we did now. <laughs> I want to see BBBY, but that was last week. That's right. I did go back and look at that at some point before I left yesterday. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It went to 28 something. It, this was insanity. I, I had this discussion with 777 yesterday. Like I said, well, there's some days that I take a certain size and if I held it, I could have made a million dollars. This was one of them. <laughs> this was one of them because we took it at 34 or whatever. And, it, and literally this, we took it almost at the high of the day. The stock moved more than six dollars when we took it. I think I could have made like over ten thousand dollars yesterday, but I was on TV, so what are you gonna do? I didn't look at that. That I was like, holy crap. Oh, I still think it's good that we trade in the morning. This is a baby target. Twenty more cents and we're out. No, I never looked back, but I just I did think that was ironic because I was talking to him and then I did see it falling. And then I said, I gotta go, I gotta get ready, and then All right, is everybody in this? Everybody in the world? Unfortunately, this is a big stop for where we're going for the target. I don't know if we'll make one R in this, but does it really matter? No, it does not. It does not matter. Some days you make an R. Some days you make more than that. Some days you make four or five. Some days you make a half. You can't ignore the target. It's coming in, here it goes. So. Here this goes. It's going right now. Everybody has to be in it. Here it goes. Here it goes. I'd be I'd be thrilled if this breaks ten dollars. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Here it's gonna try. Senex, you have to be in it. We're on point. On point with everything. October third. October 3rd, I have the air conditioning on. Unusual. Here, I think it's going to get down to 10 for sure. It's a question of whether or not it's going to break it in the time period. Wow, everything looks amazing. Look at Apple. We didn't break it. 14, 13, 13. Ah, oh, shoot. This is exactly the reason I hesitated doing this this morning. Small target, 
Didn't know what the stop would be. Didn't break the low in here. Now we're waiting. You could have scalped it literally for 15 cents, which is not what we do. You gotta wait. It just had a big bar there. People covering into the low. You gotta wait. I hope we don't have to wait long for this to break down or I'm just gonna get out of it. I knew it didn't have a big target. That was the only problem with this trade. the situation so so all right you see here at eight o'clock it was over 11 I mean it just fell all morning you got a majority of the move in the gap unfortunately I gotta get out of this soon whatever it is that was really the only problem with this actually Oh, this is what I wanted to look at. AA. If you got out of it, that's perfectly fine, Koala Bear. You got out of half of it down at the low? I, I, where did you get out of half? You, if you're going if you're gonna get out of half of the low, I would've got out of the whole thing. There's, there's no point in holding half just to make 10 more cents. That bounced back way too quick for me to make a decision. I fully believed it would go to 10, and I still do. But I wanted a quick in and out today based on the market, and now it's 940, so I don't know if we're going to get fast here. If you're concerned about this, get out right here. Make 10 cents or 15 cents or whatever, 20 cents. Let's see what's going on here tonight and tomorrow and the rest of the week. <sighs> eBay has accused Amazon of trying to poach sellers from its marketplace. Oh, that's interesting. I have to read that article. Um, no econ, I don't think, the rest of today. No, 10.30 is crude. At 10 o'clock, we have a number. But the big, big day this week will be Friday for numbers. Um, Peers tonight, but it's too cheap to trade. SNX, we can look at. Tomorrow morning is STZ. Costco's a big one tomorrow night. In fact, there's nothing on Friday. So Thursday night is Costco. I don't know what that does, but that is the only big one we have left for the rest of the week as, as far as name, big names to know. Yep, here's the Sunex. Now we're gonna be stuck in this trade waiting. Gosh darn it. I knew that this had to go fast. I should have, I don't even think I could have hit out of it in time to get filled here, right? I mean, honestly, did anyone get out here? I mean, we would have been hit out in the high teens or 20s, I don't even know where it would have been hit out. It just moved, it, it had that bar, it was so fast, so big, it, I, you didn't have time to get out. So, now we're stuck waiting. I still think it works, but we're stuck in this trade now probably for another half an hour. This sucks. Just to make 10 cents or something, this is so ridiculous. Galahad got out, you got out down there at the low? Muhammad got out. Wow, some of you people are really fast. I, I looked away on my chart, but even if I had it up, I don't think I would have reacted fast enough. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I had was looking at something else. I don't remember what. I don't think I, I don't think here. Here's Senex. Let's pay attention now so we don't miss this this time. It stalled, so you got out. Okie doke. I understand your situation in life. Let's look at this. And so the one we're doing had something to do with this, with the news. And this is falling and looks like it's going to break the low and I would have never gone long it. So that may help this here 
with us here at this period. <sighs> That's why you get out, but you're still amazing. I am amazing. Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you for recognizing that. And Triple Seven said nice stuff yesterday. The problem is you people don't you people don't you know, people don't tell anyone. I get these wonderful, wonderful, you know, conversations that no one knows about with people. <laughs> At least you're thinking it. You were learning to stop by a penny when it had that jump. Oh, that stinks. I'm not only amazing but beautiful too, thank you. Thank you. This is gonna go. This is gonna go. If you really wanna be tight with it, you could put the stop at 1050, 1055. I think I'm gonna leave it because it's wiggly jiggly, but if you wanna be really tight, you could lower the stop. Yeah, sometimes I do generalize koala bear. That is true. So what are we doing here? This is continuing, although we never would have done it. Why? It gapped up. Also, the size of the move yesterday. Market is trying to hold, but I don't know what time this happens. And where are we at with this? Falling asleep. I don't know, people. Tomorrow's Thursday, and it looks like there's not much out. So Friday, we could be doing Costco. I'll look at the chart in a minute, but we're gonna be super duper, super duper careful tomorrow. And we're actually gonna be super duper careful today, meaning I'm gonna hopefully get out of this very, very soon. Um, but based on me just looking what's coming up for the next two days here, we're gonna be super duper careful. I've been on point. We wanna stick with the consistency. I have a feeling this is gonna gap up. I don't take any trades in this until it gaps. I don't really know where it's going to. It's just nothing but instinct that I think this stock is gonna rock and roll. This will definitely lift the market too. And whatever numbers come out Friday, if they're good. I'd wait, don't take a position in that until it gaps up people, but I have a feeling Costco could, we could be, we could be going long Friday. You tell plenty of people about me? Really? Well, that's nice of you. Thank you, Koala Bear. Here this goes, Senex. Okay, who's in what? Who's still in the Facebook option? I know Galahad is because he said he's holding it for the big trade. Is anybody else still in this besides him or is he the only one of the people in the options letter? And Galahad, what were you up yesterday in this? Roughly at the low. I'm guessing five, six grand. Could be more. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. So, I had them do my nails yesterday before the show, and I have the shows on when I'm watching to always know what's going on. And they were talking about the market. It was Neil's earlier show, and she said, well, the market's gonna crash. The market's gonna crash soon, isn't it? And I said, well, what? This is a manicurist. I said, why, why would you think that? Why would, you, why would you think the market's gonna crash? We, we're, we're at the highs. Because it, because it has to, because it can't keep going forever and it's been going up and up and up and up. And it's interesting, I don't listen to other networks and I'm thinking, 
obviously the anti-Trump networks. And I'm thinking, is that what people are telling people? Are people telling people that this, the market's going to crash? Because I don't think that lady would have, she's not a trader. I don't think she would have thought that on her own. Maybe, but it was as if she was reiterating something that she heard somewhere on news or something. And I was like, no, why would you, why would you think that? And then I thought, gosh, people actually think that. Like regular people think that. I found that very interesting. And I said, no, the market's not going to crash. Someone told her to say that, but that's what I'm saying. I don't watch every single news channel or cable news channel that's out there. Here we go, Senex, this is it, people, and we are almost out. I wonder if they say that to people. That's completely ins insane. But I, I mean, she said it with she, she, she said it with such certainty that I was like, what? What are you talking about? But she's not the only one that thinks that. A lot of people think that. She just said it with such certainty that I was so shocked. Here we go. Senex through the low. This is this bounced so much there. You could almost put an order out. You could almost put an order out to fill you at the number if you're scared or worried. Let's just pay attention. Like if you're worried that it's going to bounce too fast, too quick, like previously. Here, here it goes. Here it goes. Pay attention. You could put an order out to fill you at ten if you want. Here, this is it. This is it. Any second, any second. Oh my Atlanta, you've got to be kidding me. Ten oh six. It's liberal propaganda, wishful thinking on the part of Trump fails. I don't know. But she was seriously, 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 serious with me. And I thought, I've got to like discuss this with people. Here, Senex. I wish I had taped the whole conversation. <laughs> Here, any second people, hand of the button, 10.04, 10.03 was a previous low. If it doesn't break it, we're out. They're out, out, done. Can't stand it anymore. Stay in it if you want to, see if it breaks 10. I'm not gonna let this go back up in the teens. If it keeps going, stay with it. If you wanna put a stop over 10, 10, do it. I've had enough of this. At least we made money. At least we made money, let's go over the trade. If you're still in it, you literally think that it's going big. So anyways, as soon as the bar dropped here, I said, uh, because why? Actually, this is the biggest bar so far today. And it's unfortunate. Almost 40 cents, not quite. And you look at it, I say, oh, great. 28 cents from the target, is that all we got? Didn't even really back up. Didn't even really back up here at all. And then obviously we have to put the stop where we have to put the stop. So it is what it is. So you could have gotten out here if you were really fast. You could have gotten out here if you were really fast. If you stayed with it, then you got it down in here. I don't think anyone should still be in this really seriously. And we all, I mean, if I wanted to get nuts today, we could have even taken more, but why? I really didn't want to lower the stop myself because of the fact that it was too wiggly jiggly. And, you know, also I really wasn't anticipating this to be some monster trade. It was a good trade. It was a solid trade. It's good money. It's money. Let's take it. It's a win. 
it just I knew from the moment that I saw it this morning and just didn't have a big target. It was the only thing going against this, actually. But it was enough that if we had something better, we would have done something better, but we didn't, so we did it. So is anyone still in it? You got to put the stop somewhere tight if you're still in it. And I can't say where that would really even hold. Um, the Dow is up 10,000 since Trump got elected. Let's look and see. Almost. So it's what let's say say 182, 182. Again, so that's 18,200. So almost, not quite. Either way, it's pretty big. Um, Muhammad did it a second time. And that was fine. Is anyone still in it? If you did do it a second time, you could still be in it because you're going to be profitable no matter what. You got out the first trade, you're profitable. If you did it a second time, you could put the stop not break even. You could play it out like that if you wanted to. I w sometimes I wish I had recorded conversations that I that I just don't think about until they're happening live. A lot of times I talk to cabbies when I'm driving around the city. And I, and, I, and I wish I would record some of the conversations, just asking regular people things about Trump, about the market, whatever. You know, just, I don't really usually say what I think. I just ask questions and listen to what people have to say. And it's very interesting. Like, I, I had three girls here yesterday at the same time, which was unusual, but I had a cramped amount of time to get ready. And they were talking about me as I was sitting there. And that was, that I wish I had taped. I wish I actually had taped that conversation. They were talking about me while I was right there in the middle of them. And that was hysterical. Actually, I forgot to tell my mother that. I have to tell my mother that. I, you just, you know. I don't wanna have a reality show, I wanna have a stock show, but I swear to God, if I paid someone to travel around with me every single day, but every single thing that's happened to me in the last 14 months or even past that, it would be actually a show that would be watched by people. <laughs> it would be quite interesting because I couldn't possibly say all the things that have happened to me. Hear this go, it's trying to go. Anybody still in it? I'm out. Don't have a problem with it. Don't even care if it goes to $8. I don't even care. Many people train themselves to be risk averse even though they will do lottery and go to Christine and play stocks occasionally. Yes. Because people think that, 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 that the big win will come obviously at the casino and there's no effort involved. You don't have to learn how to gamble. It's a crapshoot. You don't have to learn, you know, in a class how to go to Las Vegas or Atlantic City. You don't have to learn how to do those things to pull the slot machine or whatever. You don't have to learn how to do it. You don't have to. It's just fun, 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 and and you might make money. It's nothing that, uh, you know, requires any effort or any thinking on your part. This requires effort. It requires effort. It requires thinking. Stephen would watch my show. Thank you. Galahad, what were you up? You didn't answer my question. Are you there on Facebook yesterday? Are you there? Are you alive? Galahad, are you there? Are you alive? What were you up on Facebook yesterday into the close? Are you sweating the bullet? I'll go back to Senex in a minute, Michael. Mohammed, email me. I can refer you to a broker. You don't remember. I. That's a complete and total lie. You looked at this last night. I'm certain that you did. Or you looked at this morning. I'm certain that you did. If you don't want to answer me because you're so stressed out now because it's rallying, 
then you need to not look at this the rest of the day. That's part of the decision of holding through a big trade. No one said it's going to go directly there. My guess is you're up about six grand. If you're worried seriously that this is not going to continue, then you should have been aware of that mentally in your mental state to get out of this trade yesterday when it closed down where it was, or even this morning into the open when it gapped up, you could have got out of it. I never said this was going to go straight down. And if you can't hold trades and stomach the trade through, then you've got to be aware of that when you're deciding to take the trade and where you're going to exit it. It's not about counting your chickens. It's about being okay with whatever the outcome is. So there's two outcomes here. No, there's three. There's three outcomes here for you in this trade. One, have a huge trade, 20 grand or more profit. Two, lose in the whole thing. That's still an outcome. The trade's still on, anything can happen, it's October 3rd. Three, make money in the trade, but not as much as you would have anticipated you would those are the three outcomes. And that's what risk is all about. You used to attend a large church and one associate minister would get a haircut prior. He asked the barber to say a Christian question often would mention what he asked and what the answer was in his sermon. Oh, that's good. Galahad now doesn't want to talk. All right. We'll go back to this. It's still going. Is anyone still in it? Not that I think anyone should be. Of course, now it's not backing up at all that we got out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to break 10. It looks fine. But, I mean, who's to say? All right, let's go over the trade again for Michael. And then I don't have anything else on my plate here, people. Does anybody else have any other questions? Michael wanted to go over this. Is there anything else we got to talk about today? Anyone from the peanut gallery? What about 10 o'clock? Well, that's what I'm saying. This looks fine, but if you're out, you're out. Anyways, actually, let me give a quiz here. 